on time. Hello, everyone. Another Thursday here. And, uh, you know, I changed it a little bit. Now I'm, I'm filming, you know, uh, I'm facing the other wall. So uh, let, let me say hi to everyone here. Everything is working. Perfect, perfect. So, yes. All right, so everyone here. So now we're going to be looking here. Camera is here. Uh, different background because I just turned the, the camera to the other side of the room. Um, let me check if this it sounds. You guys can. Everything's working. I hope. Thursday kick a lesson day. Yes. Hey, Christine. Christine's gonna. Oh yeah. So let me check this if it's gonna work. All right. Uh, don't don't go. All right. All right, my friends. So, here we are to talk about sweep picking, right? And uh, the five, you know, uh, five common mistakes, I would say. So I, I have my, let me see how many guitar players we have here. And then uh, if you have some problems or struggles to, you know, for this technique. And uh, I have to say that I always had, you know, an immense uh, difficulty to, to, to apply that technique. You know, I'm left-handed, and then for me, anything regarding the right hand was always hard. And um, so, you know, so in the beginning, in the beginning, I was more, uh, I was focusing on the alternate picking, right? <laughs> So I was more into alternate picking because I don't know why. I think it was uh, I think my guitar teacher told me that that was the right way to do it. You couldn't do like two downs and one up and three downs and one up. And um, also I don't know Aldi Miola, like Steve Morse, you know Paul Gilbert, you know so many great guitar players like doing all the alternate picking and playing so so fast. So I was into alternate picking. But at, at some point, I mean, because of Ingrid Malmsteen, I believe, and some other guys, you know, late 80s, um, Jason Becker, you know, you name it, you know, Greg Howe, other guys, like, playing, uh, using sweep picking, and mainly, mainly, uh, Frank Gambale, and uh, that he had a book, I had a book, like, like only everything was uh, sweep picking, and it was pretty hard, and I al almost uh, gave up to try to, uh, un, you know, to use the technique. So, um, so yeah, so, so let's see here. One, one, <laughs> so let me read what you guys are commenting here. Uh, yeah. yeah, everybody had problems also with the uh, sweep picking. Yeah, so, so for me, um, for me, uh, the, the most common mistake, uh, let's start with this. And uh, you guys that follow me and then you guys that, uh, um, you know, are doing the guitar hacks or follow the community in the guitarhacks.com or what, you know, have uh, seen other videos from this channel. I know that I'm always talking about and telling you guys to play slowly. Uh, but I, I believe sweep picking would be the ultimate technique that you have to play slowly and I would even say never I mean ne not never but try to avoid playing fast uh, that technique and uh, why is that because we tend because of the let me put a, um, a clean tone here first I think it's better um, yeah so because uh, when you do alternate picking, it's hard to play fast, right? And then it's hard. And then when you play uh, sweep picking, it's just it's just this. So you tend to play. You tend to play, you know, whatever, you know, the first note and the the last note and whatever in between. That's a very common thing, you know. I did that as well, and then sometimes it's still. <laughs> I might still do those things. It's a good effect. 
um, you know. But the way to practice and to play the sweep picking would be like comparing your alternate picking tone to the sweep picking tone. What is that? So let's say you play an E major, right? So, so that's your, that's the sound, the tone you get from each note when you play alternate picking. And then when you play sweep picking, it's not like, it's the same, it should be the same thing. So I've been always saying this to, you know, to, to students or guitar clinics. So instead of doing, uh, you know, this, so you should play alternate picking. And then switch to the sweep picking. And then it's almost the same tone, almost the same. You get almost the same sound. Sweep picking. Alternate picking, sweep picking, alternate picking. Let me get my other camera here. So, um, so uh, let me see here. Okay, yeah, good. Oh, right, uh, sweep picking, alternate picking. You see, let me turn this like this. So. Uh, Alternate picking, sweep picking. You see, down, down, down. Well, why? Well, I sorry. I, I have to start from the beginning. So sweep picking is like, you know, uh, keeping the the keeping the same direction of the uh, of your uh, of the stroke of the pick. So if you play down, 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 up, 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 while the alternate picking would be. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? So that's the difference. I forgot to, you know, I always, I like to go to the basics and then any beginner can uh, uh, enjoy this lesson. By the way, this is like a, a Black Friday lesson, right? Like 100% discount, it's a free lesson. So anyways. <laughs> Alternate picking, sweep picking. I'm changing alternate, sweep. Alternate, sweep. Alternate, you see? Almost the same sound, almost the same tone. That's very important. And then uh, I think if you, if you keep that in mind, uh, you will change, it's gonna change everything the way you play sweep picking, right? But of course, let's go for the basic exercises so every beginner or intermediate or even advanced players that wanna, you know, go to the basics and uh, refresh uh, the right movements for the, for the sweep picking. Uh, let's start with the basics here. So let me, let me, uh, yeah, I would, if I t change the angles w when sweeping, I'm going to talk about that. So that's that would be the first that would be the first common mistake. Like you just want to, you know, play fast because you can because it's easy to do like this, you know. But you don't have the quality of this the tone, right? Okay. So that's uh, very important. So let's let's go here with the basic uh, basic movement to get the idea of the sweep picking. So I would suggest just to do to feel the strings at first, you know, slowly. And I'm saying that because I'm I'm left-handed, so my right hand is really, you know. Uh, not very smart, I would say. You see? And then somebody asks if I angle or not. So you can do it, you know. Uh, let me show you. So let's say you can um, play like this. 
and then away back like that. I think you could. I don't do much. I play like straight. It's very it's straight, you see? Uh, but you could do like this too, you see? Now, and then I'm doing the a little bit of the angle. So it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit easier, I would say. A little bit less attack. So, uh, with the clean tone, you can hear better, I guess. So uh, doing like this, the move, I'm exaggerating a little bit, right? Straight. You see, it's more, more attack. Now, doing the movement, exaggerating a little bit. I think you can do something in between. You know, doesn't need to be like really straight. You can move. You know, I think when improvising or just playing, I think my hands probably would move a little bit. But you know, I think you have more attack. Right, more attack. So again, now, so the exercise would be just play slowly and feel that. And then, uh, you see like dynamics now, very light. More pressure here. You see that I don't know if you guys can hear from, because I hear the, the sound of the strings here. Um, it has more attack and uh, more, it's brighter, the sound, when you, than like this. You see? Cool. Uh, let me see the chat here, if everything is fine. Um, yeah. For the E would hammer. Yeah. Okay, so this is one thing, the angle of the pick and the dynamics you can practice. And again, uh, I, I might be, it might be fast for you, but you see, it's not like a, a relaxed movement that like just crossing all the, all the strings. It's more like. Right? So you feel every string, you can hear every note. And then, of course, you can do the same with the, choose one arpeggio. I'm playing the E major here. And you can do the same to, to understand that sound. Um, um, the, the coordination with the left hand. So now, um, the other thing you should uh, practice, and I saw somebody, I just, uh, if, I, if I repeat the last note, right? Uh, so the easy, the a easier way to start would be, I, I believe it would be repeating uh, the last string. So if you go down, you play the E, and then when you come back, you repeat the E. When you go up, you play the lower E, and then when you go down, you repeat the lower E. So like this, that that would be the easiest way to, to start practicing the technique. Crossing all the strings, you know, your hand goes down and back. And then you start getting the control. Right? But of course, you cannot be dependent on repeating the same strings in any phrase when you're improvising, whatever, you know. So, of course, the next step would, would be practicing uh, stopping whenever you want, you know. So you can play one, two, three, four, um, six to one, right, from the uh, E to E, and then back from the second string. And then here, back from the fifth. Right, so. 
with no repetition. Right? So start here on the sixth. And then, well, the first example now, right? So repeating. Without repeating. Okay, so then of course you would practice one, two, three, and back. Only three strings, only four. Right, so we can, you can, uh, one, two, three, and then four strings, five, Right? So, exercises, you know, you can play a little bit before, before you start uh, using the left hand and get the coordination. Uh, this is very important because then you get out of that, that mood, you understand uh, the technique, you know. Because, of course, once you have this control, it's going to be much easier to play fast because... You don't need to do like super fast, like a, a, a alternate picking. You know, in my case, I like doing alternate picking. I feel I have more control. I, the timing is better for me because I have more control, <laughs> you know, for the timing. And uh, and then sometimes the, the sweep picking just get this, uh, it's a different way to play an arpeggio because you just have this um, fluency, you know, the flow, it flows better somehow. Um, so it's just different, so you can use one or another. All right, so um, uh, let me read a little bit of what you guys are saying. Um, yeah, so, you know, combining sweep picking with added tapping, uh, of course, you can add other techniques, but we're talking about sweep picking to have a, to, you know, to understand the best way to do the sweep picking, and then you can do a slide, you can do legatos, you can add a, uh, you know, a tapping, you can uh, mix with alternate picking. We're going to talk about a little bit about that too. So, of course, all the techniques are there for you to mix. You're not going to play one thing. Uh, but um, I believe that you can always go deeper into one technique, understand, get better on that technique. And when you play, when you improvise, when you write your songs, you know, you're your, um, you combine all those uh, techniques that you've been mastering uh, separately, you know. And, um, okay, uh, <clears throat> so about my pick, uh, some questions about the pick. The pick that I'm using, this is like 1.14. It's not a, I'm so, I'm no, I'm so nice with you guys. I, I really, you know, decided I, I, I should use a white pick so you guys can, see better because if I would use a black pick probably you wouldn't see as good as the white one I believe right at least that's what I my idea anyways so um, so yeah so the the pick is like one 1.14 but I think that doesn't really matter you know if it's a, a two millimeters or I think if it's too uh, thin May probably matters, you know, for the sweep picking, but um, yeah. So next, next uh, thing about uh, the common mistakes. One thing that I see people doing a lot uh, when they try to avoid this, when you try to avoid that, you know, and and then you, you start to pay attention and try to try to. Uh, listen to all the notes. I see people like hopping, you know, like like those little jumps, you know, hopping, but uh, kind of doing, kind of doing the alternate picking movement, but with, but then one direction only. And of course, this is not going to be effective because you lose. 
you know, um, the energy and time doing this hopping, and then you might as well do the alternate picking because it's more effective. Right. See the difference now? It's not. Only the this hopping thing would be more. If you're playing a riff or something like this. Then, okay, because it's more like a riff and then you have, you know, putting more energy here. But for the technique, right? Let me see here. Okay. Hello, Alain. Alain from, from France. How are you? Um, so, no, no hopping, no little jumps here from one string to another string, okay? So, that's why it's important to get this feeling like this, you know, like, you know, like this, not like jumping. All right, so another thing, um, so starting fast, actually the hopping thing to avoid that, um, the third thing would be not taking care of the tone or the sound that you're getting, you know, um, so always comparing to the alternate, I would, I would suggest for you, so. Alternate, sweep. I'm changing here. Right? Alter uh, sweep picking, uh, I can mix like alternate and sweep. So you can mix both techniques in, in, in the same uh, arpeggio, right? I'm playing a C major, uh, major seventh, C major, major seventh here, then uh, B, then the C major with the B note here. Right, so you can play alternate picking or or uh, sweep or mix them. Alternate and then sweep at the end. Cool. So uh, three things. Um, number four. It's going pretty fast, actually. Right, straight to the point. Uh, number four um, would be not. Uh, practicing having more rhythm control and then this is for me because I'm I'm very bad of having a good timing playing and using the sweep picking you know I always say that I'm left-handed that's why but may, maybe because I didn't practice enough that could be uh, and probably would be the the reason for that that I didn't practice enough but so here let's say let's get the this is the same arpeggio so, so something something different than uh, Something like this, you just kind of improvising a little bit, uh, the timing, the the, uh, the division, right, of the notes, not only 16th notes or 8th notes, but improvising like some syncopations or something, or even uh, changing from one, two, one, two, mm, mm. oh, sorry, 
Yeah, I should practice more, but you, I hope you got the idea. Uh, kind of uh, improvising the rhythms because it's so easy to go. But the technique is not for that. You want to have more control, you know. Right, you want to have more control and then uh, having the freedom of uh, creating phrases using the sweep picking technique, which is keeping the same direction of the, your the picking stroke, and um, but then you can improvise having different uh, rhythms. Otherwise, your phrase is going to be like right, and uh, yeah. So that would be the fourth. Uh, I would I wouldn't say it's a mistake. I put in a you know mistake uh, list, but actually, it's more like people don't go to that level when they're practicing uh, sweep picking technique. So let me read a little bit. What you guys are saying? <clears throat> uh, doo -doo -doo. Any questions about sweet picking? Like a, 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 a lot of stuff here um, going on to follow as any live quella la quella posición correcta de la púa so spend so the, posi the the right position for the for the guitar pick so as I, sa I said in the beginning um, you know you can uh, like uh, m uh, make it let me put this other camera. Make it a little, you know, when you go down, angle a little bit instead of uh, instead of doing like this, which is normally that's what I, the way I do, like very parallel, and then keep this movement. But you can do like down and then up. You know, then you could do this movement too. I think there's there's a lot of great guitar players that they do like this. Or that's the way I do normally, you know, very much uh, parallel. Or like this, right? All right, so, um, yeah, so the next, the next thing uh, would be um, left hand work for the sweep picking and the muting. Uh, I saw somebody was saying, like, how do you mute the, um, yeah, look? Uh, um, can you talk about muting the strings while sweep picking? Yeah. So, uh, of course, uh, m the, the techniques to mute the strings, because it's a very uh, hard instrument, m mainly when you play uh, with, uh, with uh, distortion, right, uh, with high gain, um, you know, and then I'm not using the, the little thing here to, you know, to hold the, the, the strings, the, um, the strings that are uh, ringing. So, th is, is the same technique for any other technique, right? So, uh, you, it's very important to learn how to mute the strings for any technique. Would, would be the same for the, for the alternate picking as well, right? So, basically, Basically, that I think actually this I should do like a live. That's a good idea. Actually, I I don't know what I'm gonna talk next week, so you guys can can suggest here uh, the subject for the next week. But uh, muting muting the the strings is a good thing, you know, to go over in depth about the how to mute the strings. But uh, basically, you're always using your palm here, right, uh, and then. Is have to find a. I think it would be good to do a live kind of going deep into this subject, but you're gonna find a, like the, the sweet spot that you can mute the strings, right? And then when you play the sweep, you're not, you know, it's 
uh, let's say I'm playing for the fifth to the first. So here I'm not I'm not um, muting at all. Right? Not muting. That's not, not the way I play. I would rest my palm here. And then at the same time I'm I'm going down here, the palm would go and hold the lower strings. That's the way I I do. So because I'm holding here. So it's, it's it's a tiny tiny movement actually, because you're not you're not touching the hands right here. It's open, and then when you go down, it's like it's here, but you're not playing the note anymore. So right, that's the movement. It's like a very tiny uh, tiny fraction of a, a, a centimeter here, you know, like open uh, camera here. Like it's completely your palms here and then suddenly it's somewhere here, you know. And then you touch the string uh, slightly and then uh, it will hold uh, the string for any... In the case that I'm using the clean tone, if I have a more gain, I would probably put the hand a little bit further inside here to, you know. Or it would play the arpeggio more almost like everything uh, let me put the, the right with a uh, with distortion op uh, completely open like th the way I don't do then you see, without muting at all. Then you have the A ringing. So that's why my hand's here. Everybody's always asking about the guitar pick. It's, the, it's like, man, the, um, it's, I mean, I use a 1.14, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the guitar. It doesn't matter the strings. It doesn't matter the guitar pick. I can get another guitar pick. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Man, the, the first thing you have to, like, it's not about the equipment. It's not about the equipment. Just repeat here with me. Type 100 times. You're right on the wall. It's not about the equipment. It's not about the equipment. You know, and then of course the equipment's gonna help you, but uh, it feels better or it's more reliable. You know, mainly when you do concerts. You know, I play this guitar, it's staying in tune, but if you play clean, or, of course you have like a very shitty guitar that strings are super high, and you know, but the instruments you can buy nowadays is not about the equipment. It's not if the pick is like 1.2 or two millimeters or 1.5 or or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's good for, you know, and uh, <laughs> everybody's writing now. Yeah, it's not about the equipment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Otherwise, it's like, oh, tell me about this. What the strings do you use? What the, what's about your, tell me your guitar, you know? You this, you know? Of course, if I change the, if I, if I get another guitar pick, because I used this guitar pick for many many years, I will feel different, and I would I wouldn't be able to play um, the same way, just because I got used it to the guitar pick. But if you give me a week, I probably would play the same, you know. It's good and bad, you know, because <laughs> would be much would be much easier, much easier, just to get few thousand dollars and buy a new equi equipment and then suddenly you're a much better player. Would well, be so easy, isn't it? Like, oh, it's just about changing the guitar pick. Oh, great. So, you know, 
it, how much uh, five dollars <laughs> is a five dollars thing to get good it's, I'm sorry that's bad news for you you know it's not about the equipment otherwise you know rich guys would be the best players <laughs> and the poor guys would be uh, the worst players right so anyways All right, so about uh, so important thing here, um, so that number five, right, um, taking care of the left hand. Because the, the same way you have to mute with the right hand, you cannot, I mean, you could, you could. It's a different, sometimes I use, like use, use as, a, as a chord. You have to learn how to articulate the fingers so we have a cleaner technique. So you see I'm playing the G major here. So I'm articulating every finger. I'm not pressing and keeping the chord like... I'm not doing this. I'm That's what I'm doing. I'm moving, I'm moving, you know. I'm articulating. I don't move much, you know, my hands, but G, B, D. And then when I play this note, this note, I'm not, it's here, but I'm not pressing anymore. So, like this. You see? So when I play the B, when I play the, the G here, this finger is not holding. It's not doing this. Okay, so that's um, very important to find ways to articulate the fingers, each one. Of course, you're gonna have some uh, problems for some, uh, some shapes, you know, uh, mainly in this one here, if I play the D major, you know, you know this chord here, the, the A shape, if I, you know, put in the fifth fret, and now, and then you have this bar here. So again, the only way to do is, uh, is to mute. You have to mute a little bit. That's what I do. Not that you have to, but that's the way I do. Maybe you find another way to play that. And then, of course, it depends how much um, gain you have. Maybe you have like just a crunchy sound, tone, and then um, it, it would work. But if you have a lot of gain, you might have to mute and I'm kind of trying to articulate a little bit the finger. If you see, I'm, I'm not gonna mute. I have to hold it. So, but you always have the harmonics or some other noise, so, so, so that's why it's good to mute a little bit. Right. But actually, I don't use much in <laughs> those arpeggios because um, I always think they are, you know, or, or I mute. It's pretty, you know, I'm muting the whole, the whole thing. here which is very hard and you have this finger here this is horrible this is horrible so it would be the same idea maybe some people you know can do it better you know depends on your finger yeah but uh, for me it's very hard so that's why you can find out 
you can find other ways to play. And uh, I like a lot the way uh, 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 I play more. I play a lot like this. I add the seventh. So instead of... So I play all the kinds of phrasing. So it has a little bit of the arpeggio sound, but not, not that sound. Right? Right? And then you could... You could do like something, uh, right? Um, put the not using the sweep picking, but use player pages or triads, um, uh, placing the notes in a in a different way. So we will avoid this. You could play like uh, like this, you know, which is difficult too because you have this. I, I don't use that arpeggio, but it's possible. So then you avoid the, this bar here. Oops. Yeah, not that good. Anyways, yeah. So articulation of, you know, every, every note you have to find ways to articulate and then isolate each note so it's clear uh, um, your sweep picking technique. So we start with the right hand, make it very clear, very precise, and then if you have a good articulation here, find ways to mute, you're probably good to go, and then it's, you're in the right direction and then you just keep playing and uh, exercise to have more control in your timing and then uh, you're gonna play fast because the speed in this technique is not a problem. The problem of this technique is to have a good tone and to have good control and this again the, the control the rhythm control here and uh, articulation of the left hand is not about uh, playing fast. The alternate peaking I believe you have it's easier to have better timing, uh, control, but then it's hard to play fast. Then you have to be like, you know, practicing and, and uh, playing with the metronome. The same with the legato. Legato uh, or tapping, it's easier to play, I mean, e easier to play faster, but the, to have good control is hard, you know, so uh, that's what I believe, you know, having a very good control of your phrasing and playing slowly and uh, improvise different rhythms and uh, different uh, syncopations when you play. Um, that's hard. And uh, with tapping and legatos and sweep picking. All right. So my friends, uh, yeah, so it's all good here. And um, so let me see what's going on. Uh, 43 minutes already talking and uh, yeah. So let me read a little bit of what you guys are talking about and uh, if you guys have some questions. Uh, that, those are the five things. Again, uh, start s slowly and most of the time play slowly or you know, never go, never try to be like super, super fast with sweet picking because that's not the, the idea uh, to, to master the control of the technique and um, uh, uh, avoid the hopping, jumping when you're playing. Uh, practice the right hand, then um, the coordination with both hands and the articulation of the fingers as well. And uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I said, did I say all, all of them? Uh, yeah, the quality of the notes, the tone, so you can play alternate peaking or legato and then see listen if the the quality of the notes are almost it should be almost the same you know okay so that's the five things start slow no hopping caring about the quality of the notes comparing with the alternate picking 
practice rhythm controls and syncopation, different rhythms, you know, um, to have better control of the technique and uh, the articulation of the left, left hand and muting. Good. And then uh, I'm sure you're going to play fast. That's, that's going to be the easiest part of this technique. At least for me, uh, all the other ones are the hard part, you know, of the technique. All right. So, well, Christine is putting the, yeah, guys, so, uh, yeah, so, and, and, and then we can, uh, I put in the description, the backing tracks of my album can download for free. Uh, this is not a Black Friday uh, thing, it's just like 100% discount, which is like free. Um, although in the uh, web store, we will have Black Friday on the Black Friday, so, you know, just visit the web store now. And um, what else I should say? So go to guitarhex.com as well and, and join us, uh, the community there. There's like some PDFs, some lessons for free, so you can join us. And, um, and uh, sometimes, probably, probably in, uh, maybe in two weeks, three weeks, I, uh, I might open a new group of students. Um, guitar hacks and um, yeah so but be there there's like some free um, lessons and PDFs there for you to get more into into the, like the the good the good practice you know to learn how to practice the more the more you learn things like I was just you know talking for 45 minutes here um, the easier you're gonna, it's, it's gonna be easier for you to get there, to play the solos that you love, to play the songs that you love, um, to play like the guitar players that you love, and then also to improvise better, to compose better, to write your own solos with no, you know, with no uh, uh, problems to, um, to, because of specific technique. And, uh, you know, just to be more fluent when you play. And also, for that, those days that you don't have, you know, a weeks or days that you, you're not able to play guitar and then you have a concert, you know how to practice, you know how to get there fast, to get your technique ba back fast. And then uh, that's what, kind of my case <laughs> most of the time, you know. Uh, anyways, so, um, so how to prayer register and the guitar hacks, just go there, uh, leave your email in the guitarhacks.com and then uh, we'll, you will be in the, the first one to get. Uh, normally the ones that are, are left, leave the email there are the first ones to be uh, notified when we open uh, the new group of students. So go there, guitarhacks.com and uh, I think I, I put in the description if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, so the link, guitarhacks.com. Just leave your email there, and as soon as uh, we open, you're going to be the first one to know, and uh, so you don't miss the opportunity to join us there. It's a very cool community. A lot of, you know, a lot of talking about practicing, about guitars as well, equipment, and uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the focus is like how to practice and what to practice, and uh, and other stuff as well, of course. Um, Let me see. So, and then also the next live, I, you have the link for the next live, so you can go there, uh, close the chat for a second, go there, uh, click, um, set, set reminder, so next week you don't forget, you're going to be here with me. Kiko for president, no thank you. <laughs> uh, our pleasure for brain killer. I, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I, yeah, that was a good question. I don't remember, you know. Uh, Painkiller from Judas Priest. So Angra, uh, I don't know, like 90-something, we, we, we recorded Painkiller for a Judas Priest tribute album from a record company in Europe. I don't remember. Yeah, a German uh, record company. And it was pretty cool. Um, uh, great song. And then it's like this arpeggio thing. And then I... I did a different arpeggio, of course, on the album. You guys probably can find this online. Uh, all right, so uh, let me know what you guys learned this um, 
in this 45 minutes talking about sweep picking. Basic stuff, you know, I'm not giving like clicks or fancy or sexy stuff because I, I believe in, in the foundations of, uh, of the techniques and then, you know, then you just uh, put different, different page and then voila, you have it. Uh, so let me know what you guys, uh, you know, learned um, today. About the equipment that I'm using now, let me, I, I, I'm using the, now I'm using the, the actually I'm using the archetype Noli from uh, Neuro GSP. The other day I was using the 14 Cali. Today put the, the Noli. Noli mixed my album, so he's a great, great, uh, great engineer and uh, he knows everything about tone, so um, I love his, uh, plug-in as well, Neuro GSP, the arch archetype Noli, and uh, I'm using the Articulate Lead, but I did I, some modifications on that preset, but um, no delays and uh, maybe a little bit less gain, um, but yeah, that's what I'm using now. Um, too bad I'm using the other computer, so I cannot show, but anyways, um, you guys trust me, right? That's it, yeah. My friend, uh, Mr. Iron, bodybuilding. Well, maybe I, I don't know if I'm going to say that, but you guys can answer him. Uh, Mr. Iron, bodybuilding, what is the pick god you're using? So you guys can answer this for me. <laughs> So, and uh, just to finalize here, so every time you, I'm gonna get a backing track from, uh, from my album, so again, you have the, you guys can download, and uh, let's do something very simple here. So if you learn, if you learn the, the chords of the song, you, I, I will play like very, very basic stuff, like just the arpeggios, right? Uh, like triads and basic shapes. But it's something that you can practice if you're a beginner or not a beginner because you have to, you know, memorize all those shapes. But, you know, C major, D, E minor, or C major here, A minor. So I'm using the sweep picking. So if I play a song, so this song, uh, Vital Signs from my album. Again, you can download for free the backing track, so you can do the same as I'm doing. Uh, let me put the in the beginning of the song. So I can't, I, I, of course, I, I think, of course, no, but I think I remember the chords, but. D. Right, so you can, you know, put a backing track and just practice the, the arpeggios and the technique. Like this, you know, just right. So uh, now a. Right. Back to the verse. And then uh, now the chorus. So is A minor. C. And what else I forgot? Ah, D, A minor, C, G, F, E. So, 
I mean, I, was, I, was, I didn't practice, and then the volume was kind of, no, I just noticed it was, <laughs> it was not full volume, but, uh, so just play, play the song and just keep playing their pages. It was always a good practice as well, you know, simple stuff. Not very musical, you know, not, I'm not improvising and just trying to fold the, the chords. And then, of course, can be more, more like a more complex song, you know. But anyways, it was not that good, but, you know, something like that, I think it works. All right. In that song, I use a different kind of arpeggio. And then here, I'm, I'm in that song. I'm mixing alternate because I think it's more. It could be uh, it could be sweet peak. So actually, I just use sweet picking here. Yeah. I even don't know, but... Uh, but if you just play everything, alternate picking doesn't sound the same. So I think you have to, you have, to have the legato here. So you can't have some, you know, some um, accentuations, you know, accents there. So when you master more of the technique, that's why I don't use those. I'm, actually, I'm really bad on those uh, shapes because I don't use, maybe for many, 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 many years, I kind of avoid because at some point everybody was doing all those arpeggios, so it kind of, you know, Start avoiding. So that's the way I do it. I mix the techniques. But uh, of course, for you to be able to mix, I think it's good to practice only alternate picking, only sweep picking, you know, divide the techniques, go deep into the, each technique. And then when you play, and then you just, you know, let your brain connect everything, you know. Yeah, you like my Shakespeare t-shirt. All right. <laughs> All right. Guys, thank you very much. One more time, if you want this uh, backing track, just download the backing track. And um, see you next Thursday. And uh, yeah, just say thank you for Ethan, Felipe, Paolo, Dave, Simone, uh, Susan, uh, Christine, of course, George. Jorge, Jorge, the truth, um, and so many people. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, see you next Thursday or maybe oh, the, my, the students from Guitar Hacks. Uh, this Saturday, we're doing uh, our, our, you know, private live, and uh, good stuff, good stuff. Of course, I will talk more about sweep picking in other lives because there's more stuff to talk about, but uh, for... Uh, for today, I think it was good. All right, guys, take care and uh, see you soon. Bye. And stream, and here we go. <laughs>